Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Olu Ajalori. I am a professor of psychiatry at the University of Illinois in Chicago. And today I'm going to talk about our study of a problem solving therapy trained voice enabled artificial intelligent counselor or speak for adults with emotional distress. And it's a it's a very nice follow up to uh, Nick's talk um, where we're using basically more of the authored form of chatbot um, to deliver problem solving therapy. Uh, here are my disclosures. And essentially at the heart of Speak is a, a platform called Lumen, which is designed to deliver uh, problem solving therapy uh, using an Alexa based interface on a study provided tablet. In combination with the PST sessions that are done on a tablet, we also have a context manager that can integrate information from surveys as well as ecological momentary assessments that are delivered on the participant's smartphone. So this differs a little bit than a traditional Alexa skill in that we're combining the capabilities of Alexa with some of the complexities of problem solving therapy as well as uh, human interaction. And so we've taken upon ourselves to use a formative evaluation process and a, a user-centered iterative design process to create Lumen. And this involved uh, brainstorming sessions with engineers, uh, psychiatrists, folks with expertise in PST. Um, and then we also, uh, after some internal testing, wanted to use our prototype in participants uh, from a previous study where they might have had exposure to in-person problem solving therapy. So we had them do a series of surveys after two sessions with Lumen. And these surveys included the user experience questionnaire um, where we were able to ascertain ease of use or efficiency of use, which is known as a pragmatic quality of the experience, as well as the joy of use or the hedonic uh, quality of the experience. We also wanted to look at task load using the NASA task load index. And this um, measures the task load across several different dimensions, such as mental demand, how mentally or complex was the task, uh, physical demand, temporal demand, what was the pacing of the uh, task like, as well as overall performance and the effort involved and frustration level that was um, experienced as a result of the load of the experience. And then we also used uh, a working alliance inventory to look at the therapeutic alliance between the conversational agent and the participant, looking at uh, the bond, which is the mutual trust between client and therapist, as well as the tasks, tasks associated with therapy and the goals of therapy. We also explored some of these themes in a qualitative way uh, using semi-structured interviews to look at the user experience task load alliance, as well as some of the benefits and challenges and barriers of working with Lumen. And here are the characteristics of our study sample. Uh, the majority of them um, had experience with problem solving therapy from our previous study. Um, the sample was predominantly female and it was very diverse, um, which is reflective of our patient population that we see in Chicago. So what did we find on the survey results? Looking at the um, user experience, we found that most participants on average had a positive uh, evaluation for both pragmatic and hedonic qualities of the user experience in addition to the overall experience. However, they did have um, a medium level of um, task load reported, especially when it came to mental demand effort, frustration level, and overall performance. Yet they still had a pretty good bond um, with Lumen as measured by the uh, Working Alliance inventory. Uh, not only bond, but task as well as goal were rated to be moderately high, um, around five on a seven point scale. And that suggests that these sessions were perceived to be aligned with what uh, the participants were seeking from their experience with Lumen. And looking at the uh, qualitative analysis of some of the interview results, several themes emerged. Um, the first one was how did the experience of using Lumen compare to in-person uh, problem solving therapy? And an example quote is shown here where the participant said, when I spoke with the human coach, I found myself venting 
if I may, and going in every which direction, whereas Lumen forces me to stay very rigid. And sometimes when going through problem solving, the emotional release of going in every which direction rather than going straight and narrow feels a lot more comfortable. Um, when looking at task load, which was another theme that emerged from our qualitative analysis, there were two dimensions that were particularly stood out. One was temporal load, where participants felt rushed and they didn't have enough time to think through or write things as they were participating in the session, as well as cognitive load. Um, and an example quote is shown here where participants says, sometimes it's telling you a lot of things. So for a user, it's hard. You're not looking at somebody. You're really, really having to concentrate and pay attention. So if by any chance you miss something, then you get kind of lost. Uh, another theme that emerged were the perceptions of PST. Um, and here a participant said, I think if I'm gonna, if my goal is truly trying and, I'm and I have a problem, I just feel overwhelmed. I don't know how to attack it. Well, Lumen supplies that. It breaks it down. It pulls all of the jumbled information out of my head and leaves the emotion behind and helps me lay out a plan for essentially attacking the problem without the emotional stress of, this, of it. And that's sort of in contrast to the um, participant feedback on the Lumen versus human uh, interaction. Um, a couple other issues and themes uh, came out of our uh, interviews. One was uh, issues related to natural language understanding. Um, and these were issues around uh, comprehension of what the user or the participant was stating. If they had accent issues, that became a problem. And there were also technical issues that emerged as a theme where uh, participants expressed a lot of frustration when the app would just shut down. So how did we use this uh, information? So we, we made a couple of changes in the design of Lumen. Um, as listed here. The first is to reduce the temporal and cognitive load by splitting up the conversational segments into shorter bits that were more easily digestible and allowed the participant to proceed at their own pace uh, more readily. We also added a repeat, pause, and resume functions uh, to chat interaction, which also helped uh, reduce the level of disruptions that could occur due to technical issues. Um, we also provided a physical as well as a digital workbook to accompany Lumen so participants could better uh, track how they were doing and progressing through their sessions. In addition to progression tracking with uh, survey data, providing feedback on how their uh, PHQ-9 and GAD-7 levels were changing as they progressed through the eight sessions of PST. And this new and improved version of Lumen is what we uh, implemented in our pilot uh, randomized controlled trial for the R61 phase of this study where participants were randomized to either getting Lumen or a weightless control after baseline assessments and neuroimaging as uh, we have neuroimaging targets for our uh, Lumen delivered PST uh, treatment. We're currently in the follow-up phase of our study so we're hoping to get some initial results to see if we hit our go, no, go targets and um, whether we can proceed to the R33 phase. And I would note that the um, iterative design process is continuing. And what we hope to do is, is akin to uh, what David Moore talked about and, and what Nick talked about earlier, which is to take some of the data from the um, Lumen sessions and see if we can find additional um, areas for personalization and optimization. And so I'd like to stop here and acknowledge um, all my colleagues, particularly my co-PI, June Ma. Um, without this wonderful team of uh, clinicians and scientists, uh, none of this would have been possible. Thank you.